is Grace, and today I am going to read the Bible story. Today I am going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Waters Part and Water Water Walls Fall. Entering the Promised Land. Let's read. Moses sent twelve spies into the Promised Land. Ten of them said, "We will never defeat the people there." But Joshua and Caleb said, "With God's help, we can do it." So Moses sent twelve. Spies, but all, almost all of the people, twelve people said, we can never defeat that people. They're so strong. They're big, like that. They didn't think the help of God. But instead of ten people, there were two people saying. With God's help, we can do it. <coughs> Fine night. Far, frightened, frightened. The people believed the ten spies. God said, "Only your children, with Joshua and Caleb, will enter the promised land." So after forty years in the desert, it was the time. So God said, "Only ye." But actually. All the people believe the ten people, but God said, "Only your pee." Oh, actually, they can like enter the promised land, but they didn't believe God's power. So God said, "Only your children and Galat and." Only your children and Joshua and Gal will enter the promised land. See, the time is going. <coughs> right, you can see Gal and Joshua, but not the other people. You can see、uh, no Moses also because actually Moses said that didn't obey God like one two time times so Moses couldn't enter the promised land. The Joshua and Caleb believed God would help the Israelites enter the promised land. Yes. Joshua sent two spies into Jericho. They met a woman called Rahab, who hid them and helped them es- escape. Down the wall, they promised to share her and her family. So one woman knew that. Joshua and Caleb. Caleb, God is powerful. So, um, she hide them, and they promised to spare her family. Oh. <laughs>
That Israel crossed the Jordan River. The Prish Priestess went first carrying an ark of the covenant. When their feet touched the river, it stopped it flowing. Everyone crossed on the dry land. When it is like Moses in the Red Sea, a gate, the who were carrying the ark went first, and when they f speak the land, the floating water, suddenly. Wow. Wow. <coughs> Jericho was next. The Lord told Joshua for six days, march once around Jericho. Then on day seven, March around seeing times blow trumpet shout the walls will fall down <laughs> they shout So God said March around for Six times march, uh, one, march once around Jericho, and on seventh day, you should blow trumpets and shout. Then the walls will fall down. You can see the people are walking. Actually, do you know? The Jericho people were like shocked, like a like, little bit scared because Joshua and they didn't a uh, fight against them. They just because they just uh, go around the Jericho. Question: When what were the Precious came across the Jordan River when God stopped it, the water flowing. Number three. Joshua trusted God. He did what the Lord said. And the walls fall down. They took the city. Rahab was spared. God's people began to take the promised land. So, when they have shouted and turned around seven, Suddenly, the walls fall down so they could enter the promised land. <laughs> the people, yeah, the girls' family. Question because Joshua trusted and obeyed God, the walls of Jericho fall down. True. Yesterday I read the Bible story and today I will read Fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, 
kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? Yes, next time we'll read another story. Let's see you next time. Bye!